Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we are gonna be cleaning my car. It got back from the garage, as you guys have seen on my other videos, my finance organizations, and the wheels are terrible. I can't believe you would pay a thousand some dollars at a garage for tires and inspection, and they wouldn't at least clean up your tires, at least clean off the garbage that they put on to able to put on your tire. Just look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's all on that tire. It's all on that tire. It's all on that tire. And it's all on that tire. They have all of their little stuff they use, their little like greasy stuff to put on the tire and seal and all that. And then this is all brake dust. This is my stuff, okay? But, <laughs> come on. They can't at minimum just clean off the stuff that they did. But it's like you're getting brand new tires. They can't clean up your wheels for you? Come on, people. So today I have a whole bunch of different products uh, that I'm gonna use to clean up my car. This toolbox needs to be organized. Um, my grandfather and me were doing work on, this, on the pickup truck last night and we never actually cleaned anything up. So, I'm gonna clean up a few little things right now. Put this thing away. All right, down here in my cupboard. I love these little cool boxes. They are really nice, actually. I gotta put the Amazon. Like the Craftsman, and it's, it was pretty cheap, too, so. Got gloves and all that. I got a whole drawer of microfiber cloths that I'm gonna use to clean up the car today. I'm actually not gonna use those. I actually have um, ones in my... in my trunk, which I'm gonna get out before I get started. But it's getting that kind of weather where it's supposed to be pretty nice, actually, in October. We're supposed to get 80 degree weather. <laughs> Hello, 80 degrees. But that's what it's supposed to be. So, I got all these towels. I got like a 50 pack at the store. I'm just gonna grab three blue, two green, one dark blue. I don't know how many I don't need. I haven't tried, I haven't used them but yet, so. And then I'm gonna need my foam cannon. And then I wanna use my, this should be full. Oh, wow, it's actually empty. You know what, it might've been leaking in my car. I really hope not, but it, oh, yep, it was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was leaking all in my car. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, how great. Yep, look at that, look at that bag. Oh God. Oh, I hope I didn't get my carpet. Oh, go have my phone. Come on. Oh, God. That's actually mostly car wash soap over my hands. How great. Okay, let's see. It got all over this rag. Oh my gosh, it's all down in there. Oh my gosh. Whoa. You guys. 
Okay, I'm gonna actually see if I can pull out this container. Oh my gosh, you can't even pull it out. There's no way to pull it out. Oh my gosh, there is so much. Ugh, yuck. Okay, happy I found this, but uh, I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in there, about a half a bottle of water. I'm gonna pour the rest of my hands. Gotta pick that bottle up later, but my hands are just covered in car wash stuff. Okay, now. I'm gonna get two of these my cover towels and just dried up in here. There's a tip if your trunk and all that moves pretty a lot, then I would not recommend doing that. Well, at least it's nice and clean in here now. So try to soak as much as you can and just throw it around. I'm gonna go back in here again and dry it up in here. Look at all that stuff. Oh my god. Oh, you guys, my mother scared the crap out of me. That was so funny. She's like, hey! That scared me. I was like, who the heck is in my driveway? And then she started laughing. Anyway, we got all that dried out now. She was telling me what she's doing. She has to pack up a few things and go for a little trip. And we're gonna get my car all clean. And I'll take you guys to do a little thing. I'm gonna run a little time lapse in the background. So enjoy the little time lapse as we clean up my car here. Give her a nice bath and get the wheels nice and clean. Unfortunately, I gotta go get gas. Um, for my pressure washer. I thought I had some. That's hot. My rags are sitting there in the ground. They're gonna stay on the ground. But yes, I gotta go. I gotta go over here to the gas station real quick and get some gas. Car. Big old big rig flying up on me. I gotta go. Okay. Half put out in front of them. Anyway, see, so yeah, I gotta go get some gas. I'm gonna go put like five bucks in. Five bucks in the in this little gas tank or whatever. My seat is so. There we go. That's better. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get some gas. Then we'll go back. I'll put you guys back up so you can watch. And I had it running, and then it stopped. And that was why I ran out of gas. I didn't have any in my tank, in my little thing. So I got that in the back seat. We're gonna go over here and get a quick little thing of gas, and we'll go back, pour it in the pressure washer, and pressure wash my car. That way we can have a nice clean car, so. Okay, over here at the gas station real quick, grab a five, five ten dollars worth of gas, and we'll come back home and wash my car. Okay. We got the gas, you guys. I got 10 bucks actually, cause I'm used to always doing five, but price of gas nowadays, actually it came down right now, but it's gonna go back up again. I just know it, cause that's what it does. It comes down and it goes like double the price anyway. So it's like, there's no point in putting it down cause then you end up paying the same amount anyway. I don't know what the hell you're freaking doing. You're a freaking jackass. Fucking, oh! I can't stand these fucking dumbass drivers. Let me stop halfway in the road and let you pull out of the freaking parking lot. Come on, dude. And then, oh, I'm coming. Let me come and hit you. Either stop or don't stop, okay? God. 
people are so freaking pathetic. You know, why y'all drive like freaking shit? Everybody cannot even drive. I'm sick of these bastards. They all drive like shit. <laughs> it's just so annoying. Like, mmm, I don't get it. Whatever, we got 10 bucks of gas. I'm going home to detail my car. Oh my God, help me. Coming over in my lane, y'all are pathetic. <laughs> you guys, I tell ya. I can't stand people. Mm -mm -mm. I think half of them need to go back and get their freaking license again. And they talk about the young people, like me, every other teenager out there who's pretty new to driving. And they say, oh, they're terrible. They are the ones who cause the most accidents. Hello, you're halfway over the road. You're being that Pac-Man like Joey Whisper says. Wagga, 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 wagga. Come on, man. Oh, oh, back and forth. You're on your phone. Get off of your phone. Whatever you're doing, do it hands-free or don't do it at all. I'm videoing right now. It's fully hands-free. I set it before I go. One button on my little thing here and that plays and pauses music. It will also stop this video. People are funny. They're not funny. They're just straight out dangerous and stupid. Now what are you going to do? You're going to use the turn signal? You ought to. Watch him. I bet any money he doesn't even use a signal. Oh my gosh. Last minute. Three blanks. Come on, man. Can't even warn me where you're even going. Would have been nice if you would have used that person could have known they could have went right, but nope, you couldn't use the last minute. You're pathetic. You are so pathetic. Mm. And they're going like 30 over the speed limit. It's 35, they're probably going freaking 65. Because they're way up there now. Oh, I tell you, people need to slow down drive more respectfully. Yeah, I don't know. Drive me up a wall. Now watch them. See how early? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen blinks before I get to have to stop. More than that, but fourteen blinks till I get close to my intersection. They're just now turning theirs on. They've been here. It should have already been on, babes. Have a great day. Go back in town. Get out of the country area, you little city freak. Oops. <laughs> oh man, people drive me nuts. We're back home to my pressure washer. I'm gonna pull right over here, right back where I was. And we're going to wash the car. We're going to put some gas in. Stole the time lapse. needs to be dry now and wax and right now the sun is not shining on top of the car so it will not leave any watermarks but I'm gonna let this thing drip dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna dry it up with some towels and then we're gonna go over all the windows with Rain-X glass cleaner and repellent 
I'm gonna go over the entire windshield with this. And then I'm gonna go over the entire car with this. Then I also have to get my air freshener thing out of my room and then we'll do the air freshener in my car as well. So, anyway, I guess I'll go turn off the water a while for the pressure washer. And we got a good bit of gas left, which is good. some soap it looks like left by my one fog light so I'm gonna use the rest of the water and the pressure here in the pressure washer to clean that off and there we go it's all clean I just gotta add I'm gonna do my little car bomb air freshener thing too you put it in the middle of your console turn your AC on full blast of your car running and let it fly everywhere wait 10 to 15 minutes get in your car and it smells like heaven so I'm gonna do that as well and I also want to put on some tire shine so we are Done with step one, the car wash. We got a whole interior to do and everything else. We got a long way to go yet. So yeah, this is the car bomb, the Fresh FX Smoke Odor Elimination Technology in the scent, somewhere it says the scent, Midnight Air. It smells really, really good. Um, all the soaps here, that'll all get washed off. It looks like it's pretty drip and dry right now. So you're supposed to now go in with my wax and dry spray which I have over here on my workbench. All right, here. It's been ran over a few times, but it still sprays. <laughs> but yeah, it's wax and dry, and basically it has uh, has depth canuba durability, and you just spray this over the panels, different sections and panels of your car, and then you wipe it with a microfiber towel, and you do it while it's still wet. It's called wax and dry. Um, it's a really, really good wax. It makes the whole car shine and it helps it repel water. I use so much of my towels. I'm going to have to get in the trunk here. I grew some bikers and get out some more towels because I'm going to need a good Benny. I'll have to go throw these in the washer when I'm done with them all. my sprayer on a a line spray and you also don't want to get this stuff too much on your paint if it comes in your paint make sure you dry it but I did not get any on my paint there the tires are dripping brand new off the lot off from the garage got brand new tires put on you see these are BF Goodrich You don't have to worry about the wheel liners, so they are carpet in my car. Now, depending on what wheel liners you have, you might want to be careful on where you're spraying this if it gets on your liners. But I have carpet liners in my car. You know, you don't want to put too terribly much. And there we go. Now, let that stuff fully dry. You don't want to move your car with that stuff on. It will flop up and go into your brakes and all over your, your car and all over your paint. And that will dry and it will not be as glossy, but it will be nice and wet and your car will look brand new off the lot. That's how mine came home from the dealership and it looked amazing in the middle of winter. Everybody looked because they're like, whoa, this thing was like so fresh, like fresh summertime 
clean car car show. In the meantime, I'll let that dry. I am gonna restart a time lapse for you guys. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna let that dry for a few more minutes. Grab my vacuum cleaner and I'm gonna come downstairs here. I'm gonna vacuum the inside of the car, the carpets, the seats, everything. My seats are leather, so there's not a lot of dirt in there, but there is a lot in the floor. So that's our next, so is the vacuum, clean the inside, wipe down surfaces. And then finally we can put in our air bomb, let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes, pull the car in the garage and she is all done. So I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Well, a few seconds for you guys. Okay, in about 10 minutes, I got my vacuum that I use in the house because I don't have an actual car vacuum. I was gonna order one, but I was like 50 bucks, the cheapest one. It probably don't even work right. So I never order one. This is my Kenmore vacuum. It works really, really good. So I'm gonna keep the car outside here and I'm gonna go around all four sides, vacuum the carpets, everything, the dash, lightly dust the dash, and then we're gonna get inside the car. I'm gonna clean everything with some microfiber towels and some wipes and clean up the car inside. Then I'm gonna pull it Leave it out here and then I'm gonna put in that little car air freshener bomb and let it run for 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be all done. Okay, so that's why the car vacuums are so hard to buy because those don't get as good of a job done. So my carpets aren't really clean, they're just clean. Um, the back looks really, really, really good. But as far as the front, even my driver looks good. The front passenger, eh, it looks okay. Not too good. And it looks like there is like some paint or something here on my leather. I'll have to rub that whenever I get here to clean. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get in the car, start it up, get the fans on. I'm gonna take some my rubber towels in, in the car if I need them, in case I need them. And we're gonna sit in here. Kick off my feet. And I'm gonna start it up. Okay, now I'm gonna put you guys right here and we're going to go in and we're gonna clean this entire car. I'm gonna put these on full blast and I'm gonna lightly go ahead and go through here and clean this up, get out this thing, get out this weird thing. And if I can get out this little stupid paper clip, it'd be great. It is and now I can actually go through the entire car clean in the cup holders I got a lot of trash that I got to get out so get down that little place where it holds your key fob get right there it looks like some coffee ah Just hit my nail. Hmm. Looks like some coffee. Might have dripped down into there. It's not cleaned up too well either. It's really, really sticky. Somewhat cleaning up, but not too good. I'm gonna keep on scrubbing. Get a new wipe. My nail really hurts now. It's slowly coming out. Just a little bit more left in there. Okay, that's pretty clean. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put this in here and move it all around the most dirtiest spots in any kind of car. Little crevices and cracks and cup holders and all of that. They're the worst things to have to clean any ouch in your car. Just hurt my nail again. But they're the things that you probably touch the most to. Maybe not cup holders, but little crevices and little buttons and switches and screens and they're the things that are most touched in your car, so take with that what you will. Okay, let's clean up another little wipe here. 
Um, steering wheel is the most touched thing in any car. If you don't know that, I don't know what you do in your car, but um, yeah, you drive. You touch your thing 24 seven, your steering wheel. So make sure you really get that clean. And I like mine because I can clean it and the more you clean it, the more stickier, not stickier, but like a more grippier your handle for your steering wheel gets and that helps you grip whenever you drive. So I like mine to be extra clean all the time. And around that little steering wheel logo in your steering wheel everywhere. Headlight toggle, extra driving safety toggles like your always on to, or all heads of display and everything else in that cup holder along the leather make sure if you do wipe your leather though which I'm not wiping mine today make sure you put on some leather conditioner I never got none from the store today so I'm not touching my leather you don't want to touch your leather unless you got a leather conditioner that can dry out the leather The biggest thing that I wanted to clean in my car is my dash, my screen, this one speaker, and I did want to get down in my heads up display, which I will get in a minute. And then I wanted to clean off my gauge cluster. So now I'm gonna use this wipe to get the always on or heads up display. And get that all clean. And now we have a microfiber cloth. So now make sure that if you cleaned your heads up display, make sure you get in there and you wipe down your heads up display because you don't want that to be wet whenever you're trying to drive down actually makes it look a lot clearer so you can actually see what you're doing too the big one on the bmws the iDrive controller that's a big one that gets really dirty if your bmw has the iDrive system make sure you clean that <laughs> and now i'm just going to get up in here collect any kind of dust or hair anything i'm going to clean up my screen and that's about it. I will take one nice heavy swipe across that wood again to make sure that wood's extra clean, but car looks really, really clean. There is some lint and fur and dust all over my steering wheel, so I'm gonna take care of that here in a minute. But I gotta throw all these wipes away. Okay, now. I'm gonna put my glasses back up there. Now, now is when you can use your microfiber towel. And these are like amazing for dusting because they pick up so much dust. And just take it across everywhere. I mean, every little place. And it also helps remove streaks. So I like using the microfiber towels. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to let this go on full blast. Let's get this air freshener with the directions. I'm gonna actually move the car a little bit closer to the house. Oh, the steering wheel feels so nice and smooth, but yes, grippy. Feels great. My brakes are definitely still a little bit, ouch, a little bit wet. Let me get that. air freshener. Let's read the instructions. 
Vehicle should be unoccupied, no person, pet, or plants. For best results, remove any sources of unwanted odors. There is none. Park car outside in a cool, shady location. Start the car and set air conditioning on high fan. Turn on the interior recirculation feature and close all the windows. I think, I gotta look it up real quick. I think the M on my car stands for manual, like circulation. It does, okay. That's right, because the A is for automatic. Okay, now it says activate the odor limiter with the can facing away from you. Set the fogger on center console or similar flat surface in the center of the vehicle and close car door. Fogger will completely empty in the closed vehicle. Leave the car closed for 15 minutes with the AC on to recirculate. Open all the door doors, turn off the car and allow the car to air out for five to 10 minutes. I'm only doing five. I want the car to like sit here and like marinate in this smell. Okay, so let's get this going. Max AC is on. I'm gonna even turn on the air in the seats to help pull the seats down. I'm gonna give this thing a good old shake and we're gonna put this thing in my car and set it up. Let's go. There it is. And we'll close that. It is gonna hit a whole bunch on my sunroof. I'm gonna probably have to wash my sunroof once I'm done. That's okay, it's already going now. I'm just gonna let it go. It's gonna sit here and marinate. That actually started smelling really, really good. So I'm gonna let thing go. And totally empty in my car. Is it really hitting my sunroof? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Lock the car and back in about five minutes or so. I went through this time while that's marinating in my car to let you guys know that um, I want to say thank you for 328 subscribers as of, I think, last night I looked. So thank you guys so much. I don't really have any video ideas, so that's why we're out with this video, because I have no clue what to really film. So I figure why not do a wash my car with me car detail vlog. So if you guys have any ideas on videos that you would love to see, please let me know down below. I can smell it outside the car. It's still going, but it's almost empty. I can smell it in there. It smells so good. It smells like a manly rainy night. Oh, I love it. I knew I would love that like midnight rain. I just love that smell. It's gonna smell so good in there. I'm gonna have to order more of these. I think I paid like $8 for that one. So $8 for a one-time use. People said it it doesn't last long. That's like, it's crazy. But I personally think I've had them before. I think it's gonna last long. I haven't bought that brand before, but I've seen the dealerships and new dealers use them for their cars. And the one place we bought a used car, the guy used it in there and he said, okay. He said, your car is ready in 15 minutes. He said, you can be pulling out of the lot. Thank you for your time and your money and your purchase. And we went out and we got in our used car and oh my gosh, the thing smelled so good. And it, it smelled like that for months. It didn't go away for months. So I'm sure it's gonna be good. By the way, quick little thing. Um, if your car's stinky, like actual, like stinky, stinky, you might want to open up your seats to your trunk, um, or whatever access you have in your seats to your trunk, if any, that way it goes back in the trunk as well. I just want to let you guys know about that one. Okay. It's all gone. We'll wait. It's currently, cars is 11.49. We'll wait till 12 o'clock and then we'll open up the car. In the meantime, I'm gonna figure out what I want for lunch. I'm starving. I was upstairs, but 
There's food in here too. I think I'm actually wanting um, something with eggs. Like a late, like a brunch. Sounds good to me. Like a late lunch. Like a late breakfast, early lunch. Brunch. I'm gonna go here and make me some eggs. I think is what I want with some, with a nice roll with sweet butter bread or with sweet, with sweet honey, with sweet honey sugar butter and my eggs. That sounds good, I think. Um, but yeah, that is that. We're gonna throw it in the car, wait for her to get done. Be 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. In about six more six minutes we're gonna be back in the car in about four more minutes and we're gonna see what this is done got the pressure washer put away all the other things put away i gotta get all the pallet towels and take them in and uh put them in the washer so i'm gonna go take those and i'm gonna go do that here pretty shortly but the washer is currently occupied so as soon as all that other uh, the washer I can throw these in sometime this evening. Get them all clean. So yeah, be back in a few more minutes. Okay, 12 o'clock. Let's see what's up with this car. Let's see how it smells. Oh, wow, it smells stunning. Okay, I'm supposed to let the car air out, but I'm gonna close the door again for a little bit longer. Let it sit, but this is the full can. It says, open all car doors, turn the car off, and allow the car to air out for five to ten minutes. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't, because it's not that strong in there. Okay, let's get in the car, though. Turn off the car. Then I will put down that window so good in here now it did put a coating of some weird product on here but people were complaining but i mean what the, what do they expect i mean this stuff is going to put a weird product out uh it did get on my sunroof just a little bit i'm just gonna wipe that off a little bit it's not bad okay this car smells so damn good Air out for five minutes or so. It smells really, really good in here. Okay, clean car. Smells good. Incredible. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to get all my receipts out. Lay them right there. Okay. all these receipts while I'm in here. Oops. Gotta pick that up then. Okay. My garbage can reeks. And this car smells like heaven. Can I start it up? Yes. Smells good. Okay. I'm gonna pull this thing in the garage. Uh, looks like I did get some stuff on my window as well. I'll have to take care of that because that's hard to see. I'll get that in a minute when I pull in the garage. Okay. Gotta take a Y, but there's this Windex bottle sitting there. I'm probably gonna run right over it. Oh, I ran. Pull right in the garage. Headlights will probably kick on. We'll see. Yep, there they go. Okay. Back up a little bit. This car is perfect because as soon as the mirror, like, it's almost low at the pole, you're good. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta whip, whip up that window a little bit. I will go up just a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit more though. That way, there's some room in the back there. Okay, 
here we go. That's nice and clean again. Now we're good. Okay. There we go. Car smells scrumptious. I can't use that the keys off. But yeah, car smells absolutely scrumptious. It smells really, really good. So that appears to be it for today's video. The BMW is all done. In case any of you are wondering, if you didn't see the logos on the car and all that, this is a 2014 BMW 528i X-Drive with the M Sport package. I got mine a local dealer here called Lawrence Chevrolet down in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And this car looks beautiful. It's glossy, no marks. Look at that. I wish I could have cleaned up the rims some more, but they would not clean that well. I didn't want to scratch them, but again, 2014 BMW 528i with the M Sport package, X Drive. I love this car. It's in the dark gray metallic color with the M Sport rims. Got new tires on yesterday, freshly inspected, ready to go for another year. With that being said, though, thank you all for watching me detail my car. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Catch you guys later. Bye, guys.